Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar and in fact a new season 2020 and in this episode we're going to carry on with the strip down of the new donor car which is the Audi 2.7T and we're going to pull out the carpets, the headlining so I can finally get to this wiring loom and pull all that out. Well I'm hoping for some good weather because here in the UK for the past couple of months we've had rain, sleet, wind, hail, you name it, we've had the lot and I've not been able to do any filming outside. Well I haven't wasted my time because I organised my attic and I put all the good stuff up there, all the spares that I want to keep, went down the tip, got rid of a whole load of junk, so now it's time to carry on with the strip down in this car and I'm hoping it doesn't rain. And for those of you who are interested, this is what my attic looks like now. So I've got my attic all nice and organised, got my shelving up there and all my bits and pieces, the spares from this car that I want to keep are all labelled, put in plastic bags and they're all boxed up nice and safe. And that does include the dashboard and yes I did manage to get the dashboard up into my attic. Anyway, enough of that, let's pull out the headlining and then the carpet and then the wiring loom. So let's start by removing the sun visors, courtesy light number one and there's one back there. Right, let's figure out how this comes apart. It looks like there's two small screws just inside. One there, one there. It looks like this is clipped to the headlining. So we'll leave that for now and we'll move on to the sun visors. There should be a little screw inside there. This sun visor has a switch inside this door that turns this light on and there's just a small connector here you have to unplug. Same on the other side, although this one has a little plastic cover where the screw is missing on the driver's side.
this clip comes off by pushing a screwdriver in the inside and then unclipping it. It's a bit tight. So the hook that holds the sun visor is held in with these clips. Hopefully you can see that. You just got to push those clips in and then it just pulls out. Easy enough. We'll take a look at the centre courtesy light. Right, just clips in. And now the one at the back. Right, time to pull the headliner out. Now, there's a loom sort of looped around here, and I think it runs down that A pillar. So I'm going to pull it out slowly and see where it leads. Yeah, here's this loom, sort of uh, goes all the way down there or something, and then it goes up here and it goes down this A pillar. I think it might be better if we dig into the wiring down here at the bottom, see how it goes. So here's the lead from the headliner, it goes down here into here. Let me just adjust the camera for you, it's, it's a bit tight in here, bear with me. Doing the best I can. Anyway, it comes down, it's this little loom here, this lead here, and it goes into here somewhere. Right, let's dig in a bit deeper then. Right, it looks like this grey plug here goes to the headlining. So I'm just going to unclip it and pull it out. Right, whew, that bit's out. Oh, there's tag. There's an earth tagger there. This isn't coming out. Right, the limb goes up here. Ugh. And there's another clip. Thank you. 
pull the headlining out. a change from, I don't know, rain. Great, well that's just soaked everything. I wanted to put the camera about there so I can get a shot of me pulling the carpet out. Now it's stopped and there's a little bit of sunshine but I don't know how long it's going to last do I risk it? fingers crossed for no rain right let's pull this carpet out It's stuck. It looks like there's two screws behind this footrest. One in here and one in there.
Time. Started raining again. I think I might have to cut this uh, carpet up and uh, find somewhere to, for it to go. It's no good to anybody, I can't sell it, so it's going to end up in the skip. Whew. Well, the carpet's out, and now we can have a really good look at this wiring loom. Well, I found a box underneath the passenger seat. Not sure what that is. And another box over here where the passenger footwell is. I think this is the drip for the um, air conditioning. But yeah, take a look at all this wiring loom, which I'm going to have to label up and remove. Runs along there, driver side. Oh, there we go. That, uh, looks like that's the uh, airbag module. So yeah, gonna pull all this out. Now that I've got the carpet out, I can have a real good look at this wiring loom, and I found a couple of extra boxes and ECUs. Now, the plan for this video was to pull the headlining out, pull the carpet out, pull the loom out. And I thought, yeah, I could do that in an afternoon. No, that took a lot longer than I thought. Now, yes, you can go into this wiring loom and you could probably pull this out within 20 minutes. Just tear it all out. Now, you really don't want to do that if you're trying to build your own DIY supercar and you want to use the loom from the donor car. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to take this loom out a bit at a time, label everything up, take photographs, document it, do all that sort of stuff. Now I don't think I've got enough time this afternoon to do all that, so I think I'm going to separate this, I'm going to do two separate videos, so the next video will be a detailed account of pulling out all this wiring loom. I'll try and show everything. Um, and I need to document everything anyway for, my, for myself. So anyway, that'll do for this episode. Hopefully it's a short enough episode. It's not like 25, 30 minutes long or anything. And I'll see you in the next one where I will be pulling out this wiring loom as long as it doesn't rain. So bye for now. See you in the next one.